Welcome. In front of me is a Motorola Razer 5G and today I'll show you how to go to the setup process of the device. And when you boot it up for the first time you will be presented with this amazing screen hide there. So you want to select your language by tapping on the drop down right here and choosing well, your desired language. Now I'm gonna stick with the suggested English that has been selected by default and from there tap start. Then we have connect to mobile network so this will allow you to insert a sim card into your device. Now this step is completely optional and you can either insert it or you can also use uh, the eSIM if you wanted to. Um, or you can just disregard it for now and do it completely later after the setup is finished. So that's what I'm gonna do. Then I have connect to Wi-Fi. Again, this step is optional. If you don't have any kind of Wi-Fi, don't worry, you can completely skip it. And the only thing you will miss out on throughout the setup is the ability to log into your Google account, which once you connect to Wi-Fi after the setup to settings, you can still do that anyway. So I'm gonna skip this and then go to the next page where we can set date and time. So again, if sometimes if it's correct, then you don't really need to do anything. If you connect it to Wi-Fi or mobile, it's most of the time set then to basically using the Wi-Fi uh, or internet. Um, for me, it's incorrect, but I'm just not going to be bothering right now with changing it. If you want to change it, all you need to do is tap on the drop down and choose well, the respectable time and date, and you're basically done. So from there, you can go to next, and we we'll have a bunch of services from Google. So we have location, scanning, and send user and diagnostic data. So if you're uh, curious of uh, what each one of them is supposed to do, you can tap on the drop down right here and read the basically thorough explanation of it. Uh, but in a short abbreviation of this uh, location as just GPS tracking scanning allows things like uh, Wi-Fi or Bluetooth to scan for devices and then send user and diagnostic data kind of self-explanatory gathers data on you and sends it to Google so you can also disable all of these if you don't want it and from there tap more and accept at the bottom and on the next page you can set up a screen lock now by default it opts into a four digit pin but you can tap on other screen lock options and change it to either pin, pattern, or password. Now I'm going to go with the pattern. So from here, I'm going to draw it, tap on next, redraw the same pattern once more, and confirm. And then it will allow us to add a fingerprint, um, which is this uh, Motorola logo at the back. But I'm going to skip it. Um, as you can see, we're in gloves, so this wouldn't really work. So skip it. And then we have about your uh, privacy. So obviously uh, Motorola privacy and uh, in terms of service, we need to accept it. So let's just tap on accept and continue. And then we have let's stay in touch. So a bunch of uh, things that you can opt into by providing your email if you want to. If you don't, simply tap on next and disregard this. Uh, carrier location access. So this will allow your carrier to access your location. Again, if you want it, enable it. If you don't, disable it and just simply go to next if you want to. And then it will give you a quick guide on how to use gesture navigation. So let's get started. Uh, home, obviously swipe up. Um, recent, swipe up and hold. And then back button, it's swiping from either side of the screen. And by default, it will then turn, it, turn on the gestures. So if you want to keep them, um, just basically swipe up. Uh, but if you want to have the normal buttons that you're kind of, for instance, used to, go to settings and then automatically can change it from there. But I'm not going to be bothering, so swipe up and setup is complete. So if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.